Coming up on Look Today, well, Golden Goal Sports Park in Fort Ann is hosting a program that helps youth in our area. I've got details. Plus, we gain exclusive access to backstage and the magic of New York City Ballet. More on that coming up. And the city of Saratoga Springs moves ahead with the Greenbelt Trail Initiative. Great. I've got those details all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson, and this is Look Today. Well, on tonight's program, I sit down with Chuck Vasconian. He's the president of the Rockman Record Club, and he's here, guess what, to discuss the 60th anniversary of when John Lennon and Paul McCartney met for the first time. I also sit down with Bob Lipman. Now, he's president of the, Fly, of the North Country Flying Tigers Model Airplane Club, and he's here to discuss a real fun fundraising event that's happening this Sunday in Fort Edward that will benefit Make-A-Wish Foundation. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, Golden Goal Sports Park in Fort Ann is hosting a pilot program for two inner-city soccer clubs. Now, one of Europe's leading soccer schools, Arsenal Club, chose a facility in Fort Ann for this year's North American site. Well, the two-week-long residential camp offers young players the opportunity to work with youth, coach, youth coaches from the United Kingdom. And two inner-city uh, clubs are Generation Z Soccer from Connecticut and Atlantic City Youth in Motion from New Jersey. Well, we were at the park today, and we spoke to Simon McManus. He's a coach for Arsenal Soccer School. So this week uh, we're here at Golden Goal, uh, which is a fantastic facility, um, been very hospitable to us, giving us everything we need. Uh, we're running a residential camp here, um, targeting players from all over uh, the New York State and hopefully further than that. We've had children travelling from Arizona, Texas to attend the week and we've been super impressed with their engagement, their energy and what they've brought to the table. Now, this is a big deal right here in our own area and we're going to have more coverage on this tomorrow when we speak to a famous athlete. In other news, well, tonight is the second night New York City Ballet at SPAC. And today, we had exclusive access to one of the rehearsals. And the dancers were preparing for an all Balanchine night featuring Swan Lake, Allegro Brilliant, Tarantella, and Stravinsky Violin Concerto. Now, according to many dancers, their favorite place to perform is SPAC. Well, we had the opportunity to speak to Joaquin Deleuze. He's the principal dancer for New York City Ballet. You know, I've been coming here for, I think, 13 years. And uh, it's one of my favorite places to perform because uh, I think the, uh, there's something, something magical about seeing a forest around you. You know, it doesn't happen very often. Um, and it's a very warm, warm feeling. Although it's open, we feel like the crowd is very into it. And, uh, and they love us here. My wife and I were at the performance last night and he, was, he danced. There's a reason he's a principal dancer. Switching from news to weather, well, today saw overcast skies. Expect some rain later on tonight, chance of thunderstorms. Let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Thank you, Jesse. I'm your meteorologist Glenn Sponsor with the first look weather forecast. Let's take a look at the national maps. We currently have our high pressure dome in control for parts of the central United States, also one towards the Gulf Coast states. Cold front boundary making its way through the southern plains with a low pressure system near St. Louis, Missouri. Second cold front boundary in the Ohio Valley connected to our low pressure system out towards West Virginia. Staying with this warm front boundary making its way through parts of the mid-Atlantic states. Here's a cold front boundary stretching its way from the Midwest into portions of the Great Lakes in Southeast Canada connected to this low pressure system. That's going to make its way towards the Southeast, towards our area as we head towards later this week. We have a few scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm for the overnight hours as temperatures will primarily be 
in the mid 60s, a few lower 60s towards the north. A little bit more local towards the central capital district. We'll see low temperatures mainly in the mid 60s for Edwards 62. Here in Glens Falls, we'll see 63 degrees. And looking a few isolated showers, mostly cloudy as well, with a south breeze of 5 to 10 miles per hour. A few storms on Friday, 10th to a quarter inch of rain, 81 the expected high. Extended forecast shows we have the out the door forecast for you 68 to 71, a few showers. And then our extended forecast finally we'll see temperatures drop a little bit to the 70s for highs for the next several days, up for 70s more specific. 40% chance of showers on Saturday. Dry weather Sunday and Monday before a 30% chance of showers. Tuesday, low temps will be primarily in the 50s late in the forecast, early in the forecast for Friday and Saturday in the lower 60s. So that's a look at our first look weather forecast. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponser. Now I'll send it back to you, Jesse. Thanks, Clarence. All right, back to the news. Well, the city of Saratoga will be moving ahead with phase one of the Greenbelt Trail Initiative. Well, the city council met last night to discuss a new amendment to the downtown connector. Now, this is a series of bike and hiking trails connecting Milton to the southern end of Saratoga Springs. Now, the goal is to promote a healthier and safer lifestyle through biking and hiking. Now, the amendment at, the, at hand will increase the capital budget for the Greenbelt Trail to close to $4 million. Now, the city has already received grants from DEC and DOT totaling $2 million. Well, we were at the meeting last night where Mayor Joanne Yepsen spoke. I'm really looking forward to it because I know our residents are particularly asking for more safety and more um, options for getting around downtown and doing it safely. And this is going to be a huge step forward in making us a more walkable, bikeable, friendly community. Now, a reminder, you can see Saratoga City Council meetings uninterrupted, unedited. Check your local listings. Up next, I sit down with Chuck Viscanian. He's president at Rockman Record Club. He's here to discuss the 60th anniversary of when John Lennon and Paul McCartney met for the first time. Plus, I also sit down with Bob Lipman. Now, he's a president of North Country Flying Tigers Model Airplane Club. He's here to discuss a fundraising event that's happening this Sunday in Fort Edward that will benefit Make-A-Wish Foundation. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. That's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. I've got a couple of lookouts for tonight. First one has to go to SPAC. My wife and I were there last night for the opening of the New York City Ballet season at SPAC. Magic is in the air at SPAC. Uh, they started with Stars and Stripes, a perennial favorite. Everybody's jumping up and down, marching. Uh, Fearful Symmetries was just magnificent, just a reminder of how intense the ballets can get sometimes. But really the highlight of the night has to be Justin Peck's premiere of a ballet called Times Are Racing. This ballet is over the top. The music makes Pink Floyd look normal. This is just dancing and vision of dancing at its finest. Now look, we've got this campaign going on called Art is Language, and we're trying to get people to try SPAC out for the first time by going to the lawn where it's so easy, it's so inexpensive. Bring your date, bring a bottle of wine, bring your family, just have a good time on the lawn. And this Friday, tomorrow night, they're repeating the program that we saw last night. So you get to see Stars and Stripes, but you get to see the new Justin Peck Ballet. You don't want to miss this. You want to try it. It's something new and it's something exciting. And the second lookout goes to a uh, guy who stopped in today, Paul Itzo. I remember you, Paul. You and I went back and forth about a concert at SPAC years ago. Uh, he stopped in because a buddy of his, Joe Anderson, uh, had just gone through some heart surgery and they need to do a fundraiser. They're quite a bit in debt, as you can imagine, for the ex medical expenses of associated with that kind of surgery. Uh, this Sunday, July 9, from 1 to 5 p.m., Fort Edward Idle Hour Club. There must be a club there in Fort Edward. Uh, Rogers Island in Fort Edward. Um, there could be music and a silent auction, I think, and basket and raffles. You know, just the neighborhood getting together, the community getting together to try to help Joe and his family meet some of those exorbitant medical expenses. So Joe's Got Heart fundraiser this Sunday, July 9, 1 to 5, 
Fort Edward Idol Hour Club. All right, that's it. Tonight on Look TV, it's sold. That's our call-in auction program, Great Estate Jewelry and Coins. Don't forget, you can tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.